St Theophan the Recluse teaches us that we should stand with full attention of mind and heart on the words we pray and to repeat slowly Lord Jesus Christ Son of God have mercy on me a sinner and do so without conjuring up any face or image in the imagination but to pray simply in faith believing that God hears every word Elder Cleopas of Romania was asked, how do we learn to pray? His answer was simple. He said, first, repeat the words on the lips. And from the lips, they will move to the mind. And then with repentance, with tears, and through the grace of the Holy Spirit, it will move from the mind to the heart. Elder Sophroni of Essex, taught that we must pour out all of the contents of our heart to God. We must tell him everything, our fears, our anxieties, our struggles. Pour out the truth of who we are to God. We mustn't worry about the words we use or constructing great thoughts or the order of our thoughts. Simply let them pour forth like a fountain. And in this way, Elder Sophroni says, we can add and develop our sense of intimacy with God. Elder Ambrose of Optina reminds us that we must use force of will in prayer. When we feel lazy, when we feel disinclined to pray, we must force ourselves. Because as he reminds us, the Church Fathers teach that prayer that is the fruit of force of will is the highest form of prayer of all. And as Elder Ambrose reminds us, the kingdom of heaven is taken by force. Elder Joseph the Hesychast of Mount Athos taught that the beginning of true prayer, pure prayer, can only be found when we overcome the passions, when we are at war with sin within us. Unless we struggle, unless we repent, Elder Joseph says, there can be no pure prayer. Elder Barsanufius of Optina taught that every good virtue, if done often enough, will become a habit. But it isn't so with prayer. Prayer is something we must do and struggle with till our very death. Because the old man and the demons will do everything they can to prevent us from praying. Even great saints like Saint Seraphim of Serov struggle to pray through force of will. And if the great saints must struggle, how much so must we? Elder Gabriel teaches us that the more we pray, the more the demons flee from us. But he also warns us that when we neglect our prayers, when we lose our fervor for prayer, we can so easily become the dwelling place of the demons.